Hey, what's up? This is Tech Brothers. Today we have a review of another budget Chinese smartphone with 18 to 9 display. The smartphone called M Horus Pure 2, and it looks similar to Bernie Mix 2 and even Xiaomi Mi Mix 2. It has tri bezel design, 16 inch display, Dury camera, USB Type C, and other interesting features. As usual, let's start with unboxing and then review its design, display, performance, sound, and others. The smartphone comes in simple white box. It is very clean, and there is only company logo and model number on the front panel. The big side provides some information about smartphone. For example, Dury camera, octa core processor, 64 gigs of storage, and 4 gigs of RAM, and other details. When you open the box, you see M Horus Pure 2 in transparent factory package. I like when manufacturers use this package, not a film. You can easily remove the smartphone from the package and then insert it again. Also inside the box you can find USB cable, adapter from USB Type-C to 3.5mm audio jack because the smartphone doesn't have headphone jack, power adapter, same needle, silicon case, and documentation such as user manual and warranty. So the package content is pretty standard, but I'm glad that manufacturer didn't forget about adapter and silicon case. The first impressions are very good. Now let's look at the smartphone. As I already said, M Horus Pure 2 has tri bezel design. It means that smartphone is bezels free on three sides, top, right, and left. I cannot say that there are no bezels at all, however, they are thinner than usual. Verne Mix 2, Xiaomi, Mi Mix 2, and other Chinese phones have the similar design. Also, the common feature between all these phones is front camera located at the bottom. I think this is not very comfortable, but manufacturer had no other choice. You should turn the smartphone over to make selfies. The earpiece proximity and light sensors are located at the top. Another interesting feature of M Chorus Pure 2 is vertical Dury camera on the back panel. Most likely, iPhone X has become an example for many Chinese phones. Also, there is LED flash. Closer to the center is fingerprint reader and company logo M Horus are located. As usual, there is power button and volume rocker on the right side, and slot for SIM cards and micro SD memory card on the left side. At the top, there is nothing, only antenna strips, while at the bottom you can see USB Type C port, speaker, and microphone. The smartphone has pretty compact size, despite its 6 inch display. I cannot say that it is very thin because the thickness is about 8.2 mm. However, it is comfortable to hold in one hand thanks to rounded corners and back panel. As you may notice, there is no 3.5 mm audio jack, so you should use USB Type C headphones or adapter that comes in a package. No doubts, the design and display are the main features of this phone. Amherst Pure 2 has 5.99 inch display with HD Plus resolution 1440 by 720 pixels. This is IPS panel with 18 to 9 aspect ratio. I noticed that HD Plus resolution is enough for most budget phones. The screen is really bright, colorful, and detailed. The brightness is enough for using the smartphone outdoors. Perhaps the viewing angles are not the best, but for budget wise, they are decent. The display recognizes up to 5 touches. It is very responsive, and I don't have any problems with the touch panel. I want to compare some images on Cubit X18 Plus that comes with Full HD Plus resolution and M Horror Spirit 2 with HD Plus resolution. To be honest, I don't see a big difference between them. Both of them have good displays. As for the performance, M Horus Pure 2 is powered by octa-core chipset MediaTek MTK6750. The maximum frequency of this processor is 1.5 GHz. Also, the smartphone has 4 GB of RAM and 64 GB of storage. You can use microSD memory card instead of the second SIM card. First, I want to note that user interface works really fast and smooth. There are no breaks or slowdowns thanks to almost talk Android system. Later, we will talk about user interface in details. 4 gigs of RAM provides good multitasking. You can use split screen to watch videos on YouTube and surfing internet. Also, there is no need to close apps to speed up the smartphone. Even so, it works very well. 
As usual, Ledger we will publish a special video with performance tests of Mhorse Pure 2, including benchmarks and gaming. Right now I want to show you Antutu and Geekbench 4. The smartphone scores about 52,000 points in Antutu and 604 points in single-core test of Geekbench 4 and 2500 points in multi-core test of the same benchmark. I cannot say that it is a very high result, but it is a standard for this chipset. Amcorus Pure 2 runs on stock Android 7.0 Nougat operating system. There is multi-language support and Google services such as Play Store, Google Maps, YouTube and others. The home screen and settings menu are the same as stock Android. As already said, you can use Play Screen to divide the screen into two parts and watch the video, surf the internet, read books and other stuff. In addition, Android 7.0 provides a function to use microSD memory cards as the primary storage. It is very convenient if 64GB is not enough for you. Mhorse Pure 2 is equipped with single speaker at the bottom. By the way, if you want to listen to music from headphones, then you should use adapter, because the smartphone doesn't have 3.5mm audio jack. Now I want to open YouTube and listen to music. The sound is not very loud and not very quiet. It has some basses, but not very much. So I can say that the speaker is average. It is not better and not worse than other budget phones. Mhorse Pure 2 has Dury camera with 16 megapixel main sensor that is interpolated from 13 megapixels and 2 megapixel secondary sensor. The second sensor is most likely useless. The company said that it provides bokeh effect, but I'm pretty sure that smartphone uses software algorithm to blue the background. On the front panel there is 13 megapixel camera, which is also interpolated from 8 megapixel sensor. The camera app is from stock Android, and here you can find such modes as bokeh, panorama from the main camera, and beautify mode for front camera. Later I will make another video with camera test of Mhorse Pure 2. There will be a lot of photos, videos and details about the camera. Please check the description to find this video. The smartphone is equipped with 3600mAh battery. The manufacturer promises about 16 hours of video play and 14 hours of gaming. I didn't find information about fast charging support, so I will check the battery life and charging time in my next video. You can find battery test of Mhorse Pure 2 by the link in description. The specifications list says that smartphone has support for 4G LTE networks. However, as you know, most Chinese phones don't work with US bands. Mhorse Pure 2 also doesn't support 4G bands in US and 3G bands in Canada. I don't know what's the problem to add all bands support, so the smartphone will work all around the world. Perhaps I don't know something. From the other hand, Mhorse Pure 2 should work in all European, Asia and African countries. Please check the supported networks in description before buying the smartphone. Among wireless connectivity, there is Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 4.0 and GPS. In my country I don't have any problems with 4G LTE on both SIM cards. Also, Wi-Fi works without any problems, while the accuracy of GPS is about 3 meters. It has very good result for budget smartphone. So I have very mixed impressions from Mhorse Pure 2. I cannot say that it is a bad smartphone, but it also doesn't have any impressive features. It is pretty average smartphone, with average specifications. Perhaps its main feature is dry bezel's design, but there is already Vernim X2 and many other phones with similar design. I cannot find a reason why you should buy this smartphone. I should test the camera and battery, but it seems they are also average. So if you are looking for good budget phone with 18 to 9 display, dry bezel's design, good performance, average camera and battery, then Mhorse Pure 2 can be a good option. Moreover, its price is only $130, so it should not be a problem for your budget. Thanks for watching.
In description, you can find links where to buy M Color Spear 2 cheaper. Subscribe to our channel, Tech Brothers.